since I don't know the final position of the CNC yet, we're gonna build this beautiful mobile cabinet today. I know we've agreed to not DIY everything, but this time it's really different. I needed a 1 8 collet for my Makita router, but those collets are rather unusual in Europe, so I had to make one myself. As long as it isn't getting out of hand, we can deal with that little setback. <laughs> well... It all started out when I tried building this little collet. Quickly I realized my lathe is still not level and is turning tapers. And the slitting saw on the mill has a lot of run out. Therefore the collet simply wasn't fitting. But instead of pressing on, I took a step back, had a short mental breakdown, had a short break. Very good, that's some progress. This time should be different. I will take my time and do things properly. Step number one is to level the lathe, but since this is a quite tedious process and I don't know if the lathe is already in the final position, I should figure this out first. And while I'm already at it, I might as well figure out a place for the CNC, right? The initial plan was to put the CNC beside the table saw, since dust collection is also there. But this would have limited my cutting capacity, so I thought about a hinged system where I could lift the CNC out of the way. But this would have meant a beefy hinge and some form of pulley or chain from the ceiling to keep the CNC suspended. Mm -hmm. After telling my wife the dilemma, she suggested to put the lathe beside the table saw since the lathe is a lot narrower. So the workshop Tetris began. The lathe went beside the table saw, the CNC went where the lathe was initially at and the mill went to the place where the CNC now is. After everything had its place, it was time to build a cabinet for the CNC, since my only workbench was occupied by the CNC. So I welded together some steel tubing with four leveling casters. A quick shout out to my wife. Not only is she the most supportive and encouraging person out there, I can also spend my birthday doing the things I love and even get a breakfast served.
To fasten the CNC to the frame, I used the existing access holes on the bottom, transferred them to the cabinet and bolted them through. Well, at least everything is now positioned correctly. But what about the collet? Did you redo it or order it online? Hold your horses, sweetheart. We're still not there. While everything is already a mess, I also decided to incorporate the CNC into my existing dust collection system, since I needed the shop rack for metal chips. So I needed to expand my duct work and make a new blast gate. In case you are wondering why there is a letter L, initially this was a much longer stick, but with a long lever the blast gate did jam up. To add some storage I bought this cheap secondhand IKEA drawer unit for 30 bucks. And the collet? After all this hassle I had a weak moment and ordered a 2.2 kW spindle with a VFD and a collet set. But wait, I also made a functional second collet for the Makita router. <laughs> 